where to start, rhythm or soloing. My name is Rob Nolan and in this series of videos I'm answering your questions on playing gypsy jazz guitar and I got a question from quite a few guys asking should I be starting with rhythm or should I be starting with soloing and well the, the quick answer is just start you know don't don't think about it too much just start playing and the more you play the better you're going to get but I understand the point of the question because you know gypsy jazz rhythm is totally you know, it's what basically defines this style of music, you know, this kind of getting la pomp right is uh, kind of really vital to playing this style. Um, so my advice and what I'm going to teach in this video is just uh, a basic, basic la pomp style. And I'm going to teach you one really useful gypsy jazz lick, which I use all the time. So the basic la pomp style, uh, if you take a basic chord, like let's say G minor six here, G, E, and B flat. And uh, this applies to what, wherever you're at with Gypsy Jazz. I play with really good guys who sometimes are getting, are making things too complicated with Gypsy Jazz rhythm. And I think the simpler, the better. And another tip for playing Gypsy Jazz rhythm, play it quietly. Can you play it quietly? Because I think that really helps it swing and doesn't get, you know, what you don't want to hear is, <laughs> You know, that is what you hear a lot, but that's what you don't want to do. So, even play it with your fingers, play it quietly. Play it even strokes down, uh, short notes, one, two, three, four, one. Uh, so you're making them short by releasing the left hand there to keep each chord uh, short. You're going through the chords, you're not, you're not going through all the strings, you're just going until the last string there. You're only hearing those three notes. You're keeping it short, uh, crispy, and uh, just nice and staccato and light. And then just get a slight accent on two and four. So this kind of thing, you know, kind of And it kind of sounds harmless and, but I'll tell you what, if you can just keep that up at the same tempo, uh, then the lead guy's gonna be happy. So if you just take it over. actually using the outside of my fingers and not the pick there which kind of is another little tip I give people so you're not kind of going the picks not getting in the way and making it sound ugly or whatever um, so just try that with your nails or uh, just this part of the part of the fingers there so and then add the pick but play it quietly it's just I think if you try it, it actually it actually sounds better nice and light just starting out playing gypsy jazz guitar, get the metronome and play for 10 minutes like this on one chord, you know. Until you're in complete control and you're not getting out of breath, you're not, the tempo's not dragging, the tempo's not going ahead and you feel comfy and then you're ready to learn some chord changes. So that's one part of your practice. Uh, just to get back to the question, should I start with rhythm? Should I start with soloing? Um, do this little chord exercise, 10 minutes. Here's the lick. Uh, if you're gonna play a lick over G minor, here's a little cute one I just thought of now. It's a It's very simple, but it kind of sounds like this. are you've got this uh, which is actually kind of so it's E flat D C sharp D that little bit first up to the B flat with the pinky sixth fret on the top E down to the second fret this is a kind of typical pattern 2nd fret, the F sharp, then to the ninth of the G minor, and then you can make that G9 minor 9 chord. So the lick in slow motion. Again. That's going to work over there. And if you take it round a, you know, to, to another key, it sounds great. So C minor. It's just 
just a nice little minor lick you can use over tons of tunes in this style. So there's a bit of rhythm. Keep it short, sharp, crisp, uh, uh, nice and quiet as well. That'll help you. Try that thing with your fingers if it's sounding too kind of cumbersome with the pick. And there's one little lick. Which you can apply to any minor chord. So the answer is start with both. Just start and uh, stay inspired. That's the whole point. Um, if you've got your own question uh, about Gypsy Jazz guitar, then fire away. Uh, you can send me an email at questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com uh, and I'll be happy to answer and make a video for you. Um, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you soon in another video.